Okay. First off, sorry, A, I'm a complete and utter mess. I just got out of the shower. And B, um, I'm a theater major, technical theater major. So I've been working a show this entire week and haven't even thought about anything besides work, the show, and sleep. Um, which I have not been getting enough of and I hope to tonight. But considering that it's 11 o'clock now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, I've gotten three books read somehow in this show craziness since the last time I uploaded a video. Um, the first one is called January 1st. Oh, there we go. Um, it's about this little girl who her parents are having like a really tough time with her. And they finally discover, like after six years, she's six years old that she has schizophrenia and she was born with it and it's really interesting like it's also kind of sad but it gets better towards the end and it's really interesting um it's a true story and all that it's you know i'm tired i haven't gotten enough sleep and i can't think of anything else to say about it but it was a really good book um the next one i read was called oh yeah i'm awake this is by michael Schofield, which is january's dad um the little girl's name is january then the next one i read no this one was the next one i read yeah next one i read was twelfth night by shakespeare um i'm a total shakespeare fanatic this was one of the few i hadn't read yet um well there's Okay, there's quite a few I haven't read yet, but there's only a handful, I don't know. Anyway, I hadn't read this one yet. I finally finished it. Um, I've got the Signet version, um, simply because I got it at Borders when they still existed, and it was the cheapest one I had there. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It's um, about a set of twins in a shipwreck and if you don't already know the story it's I don't want to ruin it for people that don't know the story and it's Shakespeare it's a play it's meant to be watched not read but you can read them and I like to read them um, I like to watch them too but I also enjoy reading them and yeah, it's really good, and now I'm going to have to find a version to watch. Um, there's a movie with Amanda Bynes in it, and I believe it's called She's the Man, about a set of twins um, set in... It's like a... Uh, oh, I can't wait until I get some sleep. I have my brain back. It's an adaptation of Twelfth Night, and I didn't realize that until well after I'd seen it multiple times. And then I saw that and I'm like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But Twelfth Night, really good. Can't wait to watch it, but it was really good to read. Um, but then I'm a Shakespeare freak. And then the third one I read was The Telling by Beverly Lewis. And it is the third and final book in the Seasons of Grace series. And it's, um, they're usually, oh, that's my bookmark. I don't want to get that to the library. They're usually in the Christian section, which I've, I mean, I do read that, those books occasionally, but I don't read them as much as I read any other books. But they're, she writes a lot of books about Amish. And these were really, really interesting because it's not just your typical Amish books that tells about stuff that doesn't typically happen, at least in this series. Um, I don't want to give away what happens because they're spread out through three books and you should totally read the first book, which I don't know where to keep my phone. I have a Goodreads and it's all the stuff I read I put on there 
Um, oh, the first one's called The Secret. And then The Missing is the second one. The Telling is the last one. And they were all really, really good. I enjoyed them thoroughly. Um, would definitely recommend all three of these books. Um, like I said, i am been working a show all week. I have not really slept all much all week because of it and I my brain is just gone and it's 11 o'clock at night um yeah all really really good books I really enjoyed all three of them um and yeah since I'm being absolute crap at saying anything beyond that um feel free to ask me questions about them in the comments and like I said, I have a Goodreads profile where I post all the books I've read and want to read, which is a massive list that if I finish it ever, I will be extremely proud of myself. Um, but yeah, so. all really good books. I'm going to bed. 